Thomas, obviously, when you signed and we spoke to you in camp early in the season, there were some real expectations of real opportunity. Can you sort of take us through the ups and downs of the season? And in your view, how did it play out and how did this season with the Heat feel? Um, for me, overall, I thought the I thought the year was a learning experience, man. It was a really big learning experience coming in from a from different organizations to, you know, the Heat organization, the Heat culture. And I think it was a great big learning curve for me. And I felt like I've improved, you know, day in and day out, you know, since the start of training camp all the way until now. Um, yes, you said the opportunities um, were not there all the time, but I believe that was just, you know, key things that were just above me that the coach had to, you know, do. And, you know, he was dealing with other things as well. We had injuries and there was opportunities for me uh, there as well. And, you know, and I try to capitalize as much as I could on those, you know, as many as I had. But overall, I thought it was a great time. Um, to that end, you have some control over your return. Have you have you given much thought to that? And would you like to be? Do you plan to be back here next season? No, I haven't given too much thought about it right now. Um, really, it's just you know just trying to deal with the end of the season. But you know, for me, I I love this Heat organization. You know, I love the Heat culture. I love what these guys represent. You know, and uh, what they bring to the table and how everybody here has to work and. You know, I felt like it was a great, great time being here, you know, being around these guys, being around the coaching staff, being around this organization, you know. So there's there's nothing that I could say that was a con or anything that I would say that would deter me from, you know, wanting to be here in this heat culture. Thank you, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jamal. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Um, if you have a message for fans for the environment, the home environment that they created for you guys and the atmosphere, what would it be? Um, we appreciate you. Um, sorry we couldn't like bring you as much energy as we would like this year, but um, we would definitely be doing that next year. Um, we want to train our butts off, you know, to get ready to be able to um, move on in advance. Jamal, I know you came into the season probably hoping for more opportunity than, than there ended up being. What was the season like for you, and where do you think you want to work on this summer as in terms of improving to, to earn those opportunities in the future? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still blessed with the opportunity to be here. Um, I still have um, a lot to get better at. Um, but like I said, I'm blessed and just ready for next year. I'm just ready to, like, to play, get back on the floor. Jamal, we talked a bunch about throughout the times the two-way contract, whether there be more, whether there isn't. Do you have to step back now and sort of decide what happens next as a free agent, or is it still with this team wherever it takes you? Sort of, obviously, you have sort of business decisions to make. Can you take us through what might that process might be? Um, I leave that up to my to my agent. Um, I just like to focus on just getting better at basketball and whatever my future like like plays out to be, then. I'll be ready for it, but I'm just trying to get better at basketball. Jamal, when, when in terms of wanting to become that complete player, can you just kind of talk about what, how it feels like to be coached by a guy like Eric Spolster? Because obviously Cole was talking here, saying that he touched base with him weekly and, and yeah. what he's been like. Can you just talk about your experience with him? Um, he's just a great head coach just all around, just on the floor, off the floor. Um, and I'm just very blessed and fortunate to be able to learn from him. And, um, I mean – like I always heard about him being such a great head coach before coming like to the Heat, and now that I get to experience it, it's like wow! Like he really is one of the greatest coaches I think I've ever like been coached from. So um, yeah, he's he's a great coach. All right, thank you. Yep. Cole, I know there is really no off season for 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 guys in your position. Yeah. How how anxious are you to get to Vegas for summer league for whatever they ask of you upstairs this summer just to continue this this maturation process? You know, I'm really excited, man. I, I think the Heat, as, as you guys have seen, with a lot of these undrafted guys, a lot of these two-way guys have done a great job in the offseason really developing them. So I'm hoping to be another one of those success stories. Um, I know they know what they're doing when it comes to developing guys, and so I'm just going to dive head first and, and, and just get into that process. Just in your first year in the system, how do you feel? Where do you feel like you've improved and grown as a player? And kind of what's the next step you think in the in the coming months? Yeah, I think I've grown and improved in a lot of areas. I think in in training camp, I I was figuring out the process of uh, what's it going to take for me to make it in this league, 
And I think seeing guys, obviously, like we've seen in the past with Duncan and Max and, and Gabe and uh, the success stories that they've had, I think that first year it's been a big maturation process. Um, f- for me, it's just continuing just to, just to find things. I think I've improved defensively. I think I've improved uh, just learning the concepts of the heat, or, uh, the heat the, what, uh, how we play. Um, and I think I've just learned uh, of being a, catch, a full, full sprint catch and shoot guy and then what that takes at this level. When you look at their history, as you mentioned, the history with the guys that have eventually broken the rotation, the first year is usually you get your foot in the water and then build from there. From the minutes that you did get on the court, getting a taste of, of NBA experience, I know you got some the year before too. Yeah. What do you take away from those minutes as far as how you fit on an NBA floor? Yeah, I think I proved to myself more so that I, I can I can play in the NBA. Um, and th- that was big for me this year because it, with L.A. last year, I didn't have that many opportunities. So the opportunities that I did get this year, I, I felt like I was around the team a lot. I felt like I, I was able to kind of gel with the guys and, and understand wh- where my role would be. Um, so in the opportunities I did get, if that was in the Brooklyn game, if that was in the Pelicans game, if that was at Sacramento when we're down guys, I think it was a great opportunity for me to see to, to feel that success a little bit, to feel the failure a little bit, and uh, it's just the ups and downs of an NBA season and, and really experiencing that this year. Cole, you talked about obviously wanting to become a, a complete NBA player. Do you feel like, again, when you're under a guy like Eric Spolster that he's going to get you to the highest possible level? Can you just kind of talk about being coached by him? Yeah, no doubt. Spo, Spo has done an unbelievable job of me just, just checking in uh, on a weekly basis, just, just making sure I'm doing the right things just to, so I can get to the full potential of myself. And um, anyone who's been under Spo knows that he, he prepares like no, no other. And I think that inspires a lot of guys to, to do the same. So um, I definitely want to keep on tr- trying to strive and reach that level of, of, of what Spo does to just prepare myself and just, just continue to be a student of the game. Cole, I know there's nothing formal yet with any two-way guys in the league, but have they indicated to you that they'd like you to remain part of the off-season program and play in summer league with the Heat, and will you do so? Yeah, that's the initial plan. So um, we, we haven't had the, uh, the the full extent of the conversation yet. Um, I know as a as a two-way, you're, you're restricted in some ways and everything like that. So I mean, whatever the plan is, I'm I'm going to dive into it head first and and, and go and go forward. All right, Cole, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.